Hello Life Creators, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you. Today's topic that I want us to think about and discuss is what am I becoming? Who am I? What will I be doing next year? What will you be doing next year? The same thing as this year or something better? Who am I? You have to ask yourself that. What am I becoming? What are my beliefs? Who do I wish to become? You have to take time to think of these things. How do you identify yourself? If you're trying to lose weight and someone offers you a donut or something fattening or something unhealthy, do you say, no, thank you, I'm trying to lose weight? Or do you say, I'm on a diet? Or do you say, I don't eat donuts. I eat real healthy food. If someone offers you a cigarette, do you say, no, I'm trying to quit? Or do you say, I'm not a smoker. See, do you identify yourself with the vision of what you are becoming? What, who are you becoming? Who do you believe you are? When you set out to create your best life, you have to think about what you believe about yourself. What do you identify yourself as? What do you say after I am? You can't just set goals and then take actions, but feel inside that you are the person that you've been. You must take a hard look at yourself and shift how you view yourself. Focus on the identity you want. I am blank, whatever, and believe it. I'm financially free. I'm organized. I'm prosperous. I'm a great mother, I'm a great father, I'm a wonderful friend, I'm a wonderful teacher, whatever you want to identify as. See yourself from the end that you want. Your beliefs will lead you to the actions you will take and stick with your beliefs. They can motivate you or they can sabotage your efforts. Sometimes people start new behaviors and actions achieve success, and then sabotage their best efforts for many reasons. Perhaps deep down, they believe they don't deserve it. They're not really as capable, as talented as others have believed. They worry that people will find out that they're, they're fake. They're not fake, but they're worried. People will find out. They get scared they can't handle it, and so on. If your behavior actions, if your behavior and your actions don't match your beliefs, the wonderful changes will not last. You will go back to the way you were and then feel like, see, I knew it wouldn't last. If you become rich, you had better become a millionaire so you get to keep the money. Jim Rohn had said that. Many stories of people who win the lottery, for example, they soon lose it. Or when a rich person loses all their money, they soon earn it all back because they believe they are a rich person. What do you identify as? Are you a creator? Or do you just consume? Do you just use things up? Do you take and not give? What are you creating? What are you becoming? Who are you? Are you in your comfort zone? Or are you in the red zone, the danger zone? Are you relaxing in fear rather than moving? Step by little step according to who you want to become. Can you see yourself as the person you want to be? Sometimes we reach a tipping point where you say, I'm not doing this anymore. You make a decision and you can change course. You, bit by bit, begin moving in a different direction. Your life begins to shift. At first, you won't be able to see a significant change. But one day, people will notice and say, You've changed! Wow! What happened? And remember, this works for good and for bad movement. You have to make a decision about who you are. This will make the difference and change your habits. So 
that they move you in the direction that you wish to go. You will see yourself differently and be proud of your progress. I am this type of person. I am the type of person who does what? I am athletic. I am strong. I am rich. I'm, I'm a teacher. What are you? No longer say, I want to get healthy. Say, I am a healthy person. Therefore, I do this. I eat healthy food. I exercise. I get enough sleep. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't, whatever you want to say. I'm a rich person. Therefore, I, and what do you do if you see yourself as a rich person? I do this. I don't do this. When you feel proud of being such and such a person, you will be motivated to continue moving and doing the things that will get you there. If you're proud of your flat belly, your firm thighs, you will not be eating junk food. If you're proud of your growing bank account, you will not blow it in foolish purposes. If you're proud of your new carpet, you won't walk on it with dirty shoes and so on. If you shift your belief, you will stick with your new behavior. If you don't, you'll go back to your self-defeating behaviors. Don't just take action. Become the thing you want to be. Don't just call a friend once. Become a good friend. Don't just declutter your office today. Become a neat person. Become that. Align with who you want to be. And you will no longer have to be trying to change. Act in the way you believe you are now. So what are you saying after I am? Many people say, this is just the way I am. I'm lazy. I'm a procrastinator. I'm not athletic. I'm not good with technology. I'm always late. I always lose my temper. I'm a terrible driver. I have no patience. I don't like to read. I'm horrible at finances. What story are you repeating? Can you create a new story? Can you believe it and be it? Eventually, you will abandon old bad behaviors because you will say, that is not who I am. Then you will behave in ways that are consistent with your beliefs. You will avoid having split energy. It's not easy. It's comfortable to believe what your family, what your culture, what your society, whatever has told you. But keep refining your self-image. Learn new versions of yourself. Edit your old beliefs. De delete beliefs that are not serving you. Expand yourself. Create your best self and your best life. If you find what we have been discussing here valuable, please press the like button. Please subscribe if you would like to learn more and have more videos like this. Um, and answer these questions. Comment in the, in, the, in the spaces below. How do you identify yourself right now? What story do you tell about yourself? Who have you become? Who do you want to become? What behaviors will take you there? What image of yourself would you adopt and believe and project and create? Comment below, press the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.